Okay, we're here with Eddie Reynoso, trainer of Andy Reese and Saul Canelo Alvarez. Um, you guys are in camp for Andy Reese May 1st and Canelo May 8th. Um, can we start with Andy Reese? How's he looking? contento por la disciplina que han tenido en el entrega en el gimnasio y van a ver a un Andy Ruiz distinto. Uh, we're really happy with how Andy is looking right now. He's been working really hard throughout and you're going to see a different Andy Ruiz. Uh, chicos. Ok, uh, sorry, perdón, Eddie. Um, it's okay. Um, so I was, as I was saying, you're going to see yeah. a different Andy Ruiz. He's been working really hard. We're really happy with the progress. And he's ready to fight on May 1st. Ed, um, Andy's giving them all credit for helping him turn around his um, his consistency in the gym. How does he feel about that? Uh, Andy te ha dado mucho crédito por haber lo hecho alguien consistente y haberlo hecho cambiar. ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Sí, estoy muy orgulloso de él. La verdad, tiene otra mentalidad. En el gimnasio trabaja muy bien, es muy entregado en el gimnasio, es muy obediente. No entiendo por qué la gente decía que era un peleador indisciplinado cuando aquí lo único que me ha demostrado es disciplina y estoy muy contento con él y muy emocionado en que vuelva a ser campeón del mundo. I'm so proud of him. I really don't understand where the the thing came from about him being undisciplined. All I have seen from him is discipline and dedication, and I'm proud to be his coach. How does he see the fight playing out on May 1st? ¿Cómo ves a la pelea? ¿Cómo va a ser la pelea en, en tu cabeza el 1 de mayo? Va a ser una pelea muy, muy fuerte entre dos mexicanos. Tienen el estilo similar. Eh, creo que se conocen bastante bien y pues va a ser una pelea muy dura. Lo round que dure va a ser una pelea muy buena. It's going to be a tough Mexican style fight between two warriors and there is no doubt that, that they're going to both put on a great show. May 8th, I have to ask him about Canelo. Um, how's training camp with Canelo for May 8th? Eh, sobre el 8 de mayo y Canelo, ¿cómo va la preparación? Eh, muy bien, la verdad, este, como siempre, Saúl, todo un atleta en el gimnasio. Eh, aquí con, con Andy también se ha motivado bastante de estar los dos compartiendo campamento y, y pues ya listos para, para el 8. Falta nada más este, hacer algunas cositas ahí de los ajustes en, el, en los entrenamientos, pero pues, muy, muy bien. It could not be going better. Uh, he's been working out really great. He's excited about the May 8 fight. In fact, Andy's presence here has motivated him to go to even another level. We only have a couple of other things to do between now and then, but we are ready to roll and fight on May 8. How does it feel about Billy Joe Sanders, everything that he's saying, if he's caught wind of it, and um, the recent photos he uploaded? He's he looks to be in great shape, Billy Joe Sanders. Uh, yeah, he likes to talk. We know, we know what he's about. But Canelo is going to be ready for him no matter what. And it's all about what Canelo is doing right now. Okay, last thing. Um, Ryan Garcia, his other fighter, um, it looks like he's going to face Javier Fortuna. His thoughts on that matchup and what we can we expect from Ryan Garcia in this fight? Ryan Garcia tiene que ir ascendiendo, tiene que ir aprendiendo, tiene que ir avanzando en el boxeo. Es un peleador de primer nivel, un tremendo, un tremendo prospecto. Entonces, esperemos trabajar fuerte como siempre y que sea la próxima estrella del boxeo. Uh, he's a young one. He needs to keep learning. He needs to just keep his head down and, and keep improving like he has. If he does, his ceiling is so high that he can reach whatever heights he wants. Last words for other fans that consider him the best trainer at this moment and one of the greatest trainers now at this point. How does he feel about that support and those words? reputation de que sos uno de los mejores entrenadores en todos los tiempos. ¿Cómo te sentís? Eh, pues me siento muy contento. Eh, creo que soy joven. Eh, he logrado algunas cosas. Me falta mucho por aprender, mucho por ganar todavía para estar entre los mejores. Pero pues creo que vamos en el camino correcto y vamos a seguir trabajando para algún día estar dentro de esa selecta lista. Uh, it makes me really proud. I'm really honored. But I'm gonna keep working hard and I'm gonna keep striving to be in that select club. Great trainers. All right. Thank you, Marnie. Gracias, Eddie.